Um, today's Indian credit markets can be understood to be at a similar stage to the 1990s Indian equ equity markets, in that foreign investors now hold over 400 billion US dollars of Indian equities, and private credit will also see a similar sharp increase in foreign interest. What are the features of these credit markets that attract global investors, and what regulatory changes are required to increase foreign participation? India is probably one of the only places or, uh, in the world where the equity markets are far more deeper than the credit markets. And that's because, you know, we, our journey was just uh, the reverse of what played out globally. So in the 90s, we did our equity market reforms. Today, uh, FIIs own a large part of our uh, foreign institutions, own a large part of our uh, equity markets. Uh, the credit or the fixed income markets, the reforms actually just started in 2012-13, you know. Uh, and India has done uh, fairly well on the bankruptcy code because, uh, once again, unlike the other parts of the world, we have a creditor in possession culture. So the creditor gets a lot of power if, the, if, if a company goes to bankruptcy. And uh, I think in any credit process, you know, uh, as long as there is a fear of losing your company or, or there is a fear that the creditor has recourse to some uh, solution, I think credit can thrive. And I think bankruptcy code has changed the credit culture in the country. And uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the Indian credit market because India is a company which is scarce of uh, long-term capital. And, uh, you know, as a country, uh, despite being $3 trillion in size, uh, we probably have uh, one of the highest uh, real rates still globally, uh, where the 10-year sovereign is at uh, close to 6%. Uh, so uh, an economy of this size with $3 trillion offering a 10-year sovereign at 6%, uh, uh, quite a rare phenomenon, I would say. And uh, I think as the economy opens up, as the government becomes more friendly to foreign uh, direct investment through on credit, I think more and more capital will come to the country. So I think what happened in equity maybe uh, 25 years back should play out in credit and fixed income markets in the next uh, 15 to 20 years.